What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Toot, back with another video, man. And today, it's another video dealing with my car. But before I get into all that, man, if y'all new to the channel, it's your first time seeing me. I'm at 13K, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Let's get it to 15K, man. Let's keep going up. And um, I appreciate all my supporters, man. So make sure y'all like this video, give the video a big thumbs up. And um, yeah, this for my Dodge owners, my Dodge Challenger owners to be specific. But like, if you got a Challenger, or you just like Challengers, or you just like Dodge or Mopar, anything like that, um, I'm gonna start putting that kind of stuff on this channel too. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. But yeah, today I'm gonna be showing y'all the top five cheapest mods that you can put on a Dodge Challenger. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna show y'all my Challenger, and I'm gonna show y'all my top five cheapest mods that I did to my Challenger. And like, it took it to a whole different level. Like, yeah, you'll see when I get outside, I explain everything to you, but like, it took it to a whole different level. But yeah, like I was saying, man, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Go follow me on Instagram, man, at 23.buckets. It'll be on this side or either this side, either one. Um, Yeah, so you just look at that, go follow me. You can DM me, ask me any kind of questions you need to know. And um, I need y'all to drop video ideas too, because I need some video ideas, I need some good video ideas. And um, I'm on spring break right now, so um, I'm gonna have a lot of good videos coming out. I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands so I can do some good videos, get some good content out. So yeah, man, make sure y'all stay tuned. I probably will be dropping that one-on-one -on -one video soon. Maybe the same day I drop this, or it may be even before I drop this video, I don't know. But it's probably gonna be around the same time that I drop that one-on-one -on -one video against my brother. I know a lot of y'all been wanting to see that. But um, enough of talk, I'm gonna go ahead and head outside so y'all can show y'all the mugs and stuff for my car. All right, y'all, so I'm outside, but I'm gonna give y'all a quick look around the car. It's like, if this y'all first time seeing it, because I know a lot of people be new to the channel. So yeah, this the car right here, man. I'm just gonna do a little walk around. Let y'all see it. This is a uh, 2010 Dodge Challenger RT. And when I first got this car, it looked nothing like this, man. Like it looked totally different now, cause I got a few mods on here. I got a, I got a few more than five mods, but um, I'm gonna just show y'all my five cheapest mods. And like, it took my car to a whole different level. So um, first off, the biggest thing. Start off with number one, the stripes. You probably can tell that already. Like. When I first got this car, it came with the, the uh, fender stripes on the side with the RT symbol. I took those off and I got the full stripes because I wanted to go for like the scat pad look. So it's all the way on top of the roof, on the back of the trunk, and on the back of the car back there. See, I got those added. And to buy the stripes, it was only $50 for, the, get the, for me to get the stripes. But I had to pay another fee to uh, get them installed. But for the stripes, for the, just like buying the stripes, they um, were only $50. So. I think that was the most important thing that I did to it. And um, yeah, it looked way better. So, and uh, I did also, I also got my wheels painted black. Cause when I got these, they were like a chrome. And I got the SRT wheels um, put on put on this cause it looks way better with the SRT wheels, the 20 inch wheels. But yeah, that's my first mod was the stripes. So if you got a Challenger and it's plain, you gotta add stripes to it. It's just gonna make it look way better. That's the first thing you need to do to it. My second mod right here, is a black gas cap because you know all the challenges they usually come with the, the chrome gas caps like when you first get them but like the black one it just looks so much so much better man it's like i don't know it made the car look more like sporty to me and like i don't know it just make it look meaner or faster but this was only like 30 dollars and that's all you gotta do is just pop the pop the old one out and pop this one back in and this gas cap brand new like 30 dollars on ebay so make sure y'all go um, look on ebay go get your black gas cap i'm telling you you will like that there's just a simple mod right there. You can just see, like it just make everything look better. All right, the third mod I'm gonna show y'all is gonna be the um, wing back here. So you need to add a black wing on it. Well, it don't even have to be a black wing. Just add a wing to your car, depending on what color your car is. This um, wing right here, I got the SRT style wing. It's uh, wider than a regular uh, wing, and it comes up a little higher. And it just, it just look way better with this wing on it, so. Um, yeah, man, you need to have a wing on the car. I went with the black because I was going with the black rims and the black stripes and the black gas cap, so I went ahead and got the black wing, and I think it makes it look way better. So, um, yeah, man, this was, like I said, I think this was $80. But, yeah, it was it was a little bit more than 50 but it was 80 and it's, it's not over 100 so it's not even bad. Like, it's not like a um a very expensive mod, so... Yeah, man, make sure y'all go check out eBay. Go eBay got all the stuff you need. So go to eBay, go find you find your wing for your car and put it one on there and get it painted whatever color you need it to be painted. Or sometimes you can even buy it without it. 
like you can buy the wing that's already painted so you don't have to pay them for it to get it painted but yeah um what that is number three all right we're gonna go to the fourth mod right here which i just installed these today the 345 hemi sign you need to get one of these on the side of your car this looks so nice like it just made the car look so much better but um this is probably the cheapest model on my car too and this one too i got the one on the hood and i got the 345 hemi down here this was only like ten dollars and this one right here was like 15 but it comes with a two-pack so it comes with 15 for both of them and um 10 for both of those so that's that's not even bad man i think it looks so much better but like you can get it depending on what kind of car you got of course you got a hellcat you can get the cat which is already gonna come with the cat on the hellcat but like if you got a scat pad you can get 392 hemi or whatever however you want to do it depending on what size your motor is but um in the rt it comes with 345 hemi so i got the 345 hemi on the side on both sides let me show you now the hemi on the hood and i got the 345 hemi on the side man it just looks so much better like that dang but yeah, man, it's the fourth mod. Now I'm gonna give y'all the fifth cheapest mod. It's um right here, this red caliper. I got my caliper painted, and it's probably like one of the most cheapest things you can do besides that right there. I think the paint was like $10 to buy some caliper paint. And me and my daddy, we painted that right there. We painted all four of them. So it didn't cost us but like $10 to get all that painted. And it just, it just looks so much, so much better with the uh, red caliper paint. I got the front and the back painted. As you can see, it's painted red. The caliper, I can show y'all all sides. Calipers are red on it, man. I really love I'm the look I'm going for is the white, the black, and the red. And right now it's almost finished, but I still got a few more things I want to do to it. Man, make sure y'all stay tuned because it's like it's gonna get even better. I know I'm gonna get my windows tinted like as soon as possible. I gotta get them tinted because you can see straight through my car and I don't really like that. So I gotta hurry and get that tinted. And what I want to do for the inside. I forgot to show y'all that mud right there. That can be another cheap mud if you want to. But I'll show y'all that in a different video. And I know I need to clean up my car, so I'm and all that. But I want the diamond floor mats to go inside the car. I'm pretty sure y'all seen those before. I need some red ones. And that just made the inside of my car look so much better. So yeah, I plan on getting those in the future. But today I just want to show y'all some of the cheapest mods that you can do for your Challenger. Um, and I think it looks nice. Make the car looks a whole lot better with just a few mods that I did. And I still got a lot more, like I need to get some more lights, some more headlights. And um, I gotta get me some ring lights, like I had in my old Challenger. Yeah, if y'all don't know, this is my second car. I had another Challenger, it was a V6. But I wanted to upgrade to a V8, so I upgraded to a V8. And um, this is what I got right now. And I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna keep upgrading it, keep um, keep adding mods to it. But I'm gonna keep y'all updated. So if you like this, if you like this car, you got a Challenger. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so my uh, videos can get in people recommended and they can see it. Then my channel can grow. So yeah, man. That was just the top five mods, top five cheapest mods for a Dodge Challenger owner. So man, um, thank y'all for watching the video.